Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today. It's Desiree here and in today's video, we're gonna do a quick flip through of some of the new items that are gonna be releasing from the Daily Grind Planner this Wednesday on July 17th. So I was lucky enough to get a set of these and I can't wait to show you. I'm really, really excited about it. This is something that I feel the Daily Grind Planner kind of had been lacking in. You know, they have amazing bujo sheets and whatnot, but to me, not enough stickers, not enough washi. And then they came out with it. more inserts. They are listening to us. I will say that, and I'm here for it. So let's go and get into it. So we're going to start with the monthly calendar insert. Um, as you know, with the Daily Grind Planner, you can kind of build your own planners, which is pretty amazing. I use it for daily and for habit tracking, but there are so many other inserts. And now they have the monthly calendar themed insert, which is something that we had been asking for and she delivered. So kudos to Angie and the whole daily writing team because they're listening. They are listening to us. So it says 40 pages. Ultimately, there's enough for 12 months. What's nice about it, though, is that not only are you going to get... Um, one monthly insert, but you're going to get two for each month. So I think that's pretty special. Usually you can't please everyone. And in this case, she tried, you know, and that's perfect. So 40 pages, monthly calendar insert. And this is what I mean by different versions. So here is January, again, January through December. You have a horizontal layout that'll fit in your disc planner, right? What's cute, though, is that she has all these doodles around. So it is a themed monthly insert. Um, to me, it seems seasonal when I was looking through it. But here is January. So, of course, like a New Year's theme. But I love the doodles, though. If you know me, I love colors. So I'll end up coloring this in. I won't necessarily have to use stickers or worry about it because it'll already be decorated, right? It'll be there. I just got to color it in, which is pretty awesome. So you have a horizontal spread all month on one page. So if that's your vibe, you have that one, right? If that's not for you, well, and by the way, behind each monthly spread officially is a dot grid page, just so you know. But if that was not your vibe, she is offering this version, which in this case would be a vertical spread, this one being horizontal. So that's what I mean, you can't please everybody. She gives two options. If you're a horizontal person, or if you want to be vertical, you'd have one full vertical on the left side, the other on the other half. And so if, like me, I write big, so this would be perfect for me. Um, not as many doodles as the other. You still kind of have, you know, your New Year's theme, ball drop kind of thing, some, the time, the clock, champagne, and all that. So a few deco, not a whole bunch compared to this sheet, okay? Still fun nonetheless, okay? Here it's January, of course, main focus. You have important dates and then a notes area. And that's a dot grid in the back there. Again, on the back of each though is a dot grid page. So I'll just kind of flip through these here. There's that dot grid page. And then it jumped into February. So here is February, main focus, important dates. Obviously you put your days up here. So again, nice, because if you're a Monday start or a Sunday start, Maybe your week starts in the middle of the week. Who knows? You can tailor this to your needs, which is amazing. So there's February. On theme, of course, with the Valentines, right? Love everything. Then flipping over to the bigger spread for February. So again, a little bit of deco there, here, and here, which again, I'm okay with it. You can, at this point, you can add whatever you like if you choose to, right? All right, and then there's a dot grid. And then here is March in full. March being more so of a spring theme. All these florals, I love it. Because not everything's about St. Patrick's Day and all these, you know, at this point, spring. So I'm here for it. Here is your bigger spread for March. Again, the florals, plants, very simple. And then you have April. So again, spring vibes. However, there is some Easter in there. There's some bunny ears, rainbows. I'm here for it. it even says spring vibe. How cute is that? Perfect. Perfect for me at this point. Now, depending on how you're going to use this, you're going to have options, right? Um, obviously, it comes with both. So you're going to have both regardless, okay? Now, if this is too much, you can use a smaller one. I plan on using the smaller one for challenges, um, Maybe I might focus one month on fitness or healthy eating or whatnot. I might use each different one for a different challenge because it'll just be small enough to, to work on one aspect, right? So I think that's pretty cool. Here's May. Flowers, again, um, 
still very cute though because you can change it up right change up the color and whatnot here is your may focus those are what the doodles look like here and then here is june summer vibes right this is all beachy which would have been perfect for this june because beach time we went to the beach and here is your bigger version here still beachy and then here is july so again still summer fireworks kind of fourth of july type vibes barbecue still beaching at this point going to trips and here is your bigger july spread and then august for me august means back to school so i'm here for this vibe i love it and i might even consider you know just using the one calendar maybe just for my kids stuff right um that's always an option and here is your bigger spread here again you still have the school there and then here is september fall vibes i'm here for it still kind of reading books you know the weather coffee cup mugs leaves it's perfect 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 in my eyes and then your bigger version sweater weather type you know even has a daily grind candle super cute and then here is october again on theme halloween got your little pumpkin spice there the cats very cute. Look at that. It's like a Harry Potter's castle. I love it. Hogwarts. Harry Potter's castle. Anyways, <laughs> let me. Here is August vibe. I'm sorry, October's vibe in the bigger sheet here. And then this is November. Again, fall vibes there. Cozy vibes. I love it. And then for the big spread, you have some pie. Again, kind of cozy vibes, fall weather. And then December, holidays. Christmas vibes. Yeah. Again, I know not everyone celebrates holidays, so this isn't always their vibe. What is nice, though, is that you could put a sticker over it, and you can color it whatever color vibe you want, right? Make it yours. So you got that. Now here is the bigger version. Here it is. The bigger version to me seems more holidays versus the other one more so Christmas, but even the tree having ornaments too and all. Now what's nice, though, is that she did give you an extra blank version. So if you want a blank version, if all those months were good except for this month, you know, or last month, whatever month you don't like, you can kind of make your own, which is nice. And so she gave you a blank version to do that. So if any of those weren't your vibe and you want to change it up, you got an extra sheet to do that, which very amazing. You know, um, most don't give just blank sheets like that. So I love that. I'm here for it. I love it. So this will be available Wednesday, the 17th at 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. And you'll be able to use my discount code Desiree Plans to get an extra discount as well. So you're not going to want to miss out. I doubt this one would sell out. This one's going to be here to stay. Um, however, she's coming out with sticker books, y'all. I'm so excited about it. Let me tell you, um, I'm showing you two sticker books. And I can't say much. And maybe it might be shared, but there's more. Okay, so these are pretty focused on just the Daily Grind Planner itself. So you'll want to pay attention to the title, the Daily Grind System sticker book, and then Daily Grind Doodle sticker book. So there is a difference. These being more so deco, and I'll show you in just a bit. And then, oh, and it was backwards. Hello. And then <laughs> at this point, more so functional, which I'm here for the functional. Y'all know the Daily Grind Planner is super unique. So there's not a lot of stickers made for this planner. So this is what I'm most excited about. Let me get out a quick daily sheet to kind of show you. I'm going to focus right now on the Daily Grind System sticker book, okay? I call it the functional sticker book, all right? This is what it looks like. And as you can see, and this is what my favorite part, is that it's already cut so that if you're planning on the go, you can just kind of rip it out, stick it with your planner. You're good to go on the go sticker sheet, right? So this is meant, and I don't know why they don't say it on here, but this is meant to match the moods collection. So all those moods planners out there, you got a theme sticker sheet for each, which is amazing. So here is the first one here. Um, again, and let me also clarify, these stickers are like a paper sticker, so you can write with any pen. Here it is. So system sticker book. You have your, um, I wouldn't even call it quarter boxes or smaller than that. But you have your boxes here and you have two rows of those. You have kind of like a switch, like on off kind of thing. You have some arrows here and then you have some little boxes. These boxes do fit in here, which is nice. And I'll show you at the end 
unfortunately, I'm going to have to sacrifice for y'all. And I'm going to use my least favorite stickers <laughs> on here, in here to show you. Um, it's more so just color, probably. But you have your boxes. But so you got one, two, three, four, four rows. So ultimately, four days if you wanted to list each of them, right? Um, or you can go either or. And then you have some checks and X's here. So you can use these here. You done, almost done, nope, didn't happen kind of thing. So I love it. So boxes, shapes is what they're calling it here, right? Boxes and shapes is how it says it here. Here is page two to that whole theme. I believe this is Rockstar, if I'm not mistaken. You have some lips and there's some foil accents here. Lips, fire. You have day headers, which is awesome. Add that here. You have a, I would say like a habit tracker, basically. Um, I'm not sorry, habit tracker, but whatever you need to do for that week, right? One, two, three, four, five. You have for a weekly. So not necessarily seven days, but weekly. Here is a reminder sticker to do's. And then you have some quotes here. So strength is my superpower. Soul on fire. Find a way to make one. Spice things up. You're a rock star, obviously. Rock star, right? There you go. And then some more today and weekend stickers. So if you can see the foil accents on these stickers is pretty amazing too. They made them very cute. <laughs> they made them cute. Here is the next theme. Obviously these are just a mix of stickers. It doesn't, you don't have to use the ones that match your planner. You can use whatever vibe you're feeling at that time, right? Same setup, more of the list boxes if you wanna use it for that. And then your labels and inspo. And then just the quotes. And if you can see the foil on that part too, amazing. Here is the next one, same design here. What I did notice, and I'm wondering here, I really didn't pay attention. Okay, so these were solid boxes. And then the second row is like an ombre effect on these two here. So that's a unique, I didn't realize that at first. So solid colors, and then you have like an ombre effect on these headers here. And then here is your other one here, super cute. This is one of my favorites here because I have this cover also. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love the green foil on there. It's everything. <laughs> so these stickers, I'm really excited about it. Like I said, I'll show you when we're done just to kind of get an idea what they look like. And I'll end up doing probably like a quick flip through on Instagram too. Um, Y'all like those over there. If you're not already following me on Instagram, check out my Instagram page at Desiree Plans. I typically post more there, more so than make videos, just because i that's where I get more engagement. Um, but I can't leave my YouTubers behind. I know I am slacking a big time, but I want to make sure y'all have a chance to get these because the way I see it, I feel like some people are going to buy more than one book at a time and I'd hate for it to sell out. And I these are going to be in this, in the, they're going to be a staple. So they're not going away. If anything, they'll add more other books or different things, but you want to make sure to grab it in the first go around so that you're not having to wait for a restock kind of thing is what I'm saying. Here are this one and look at that purple foil. Super cute. I love these though. Stay unique. Art has no rules. Very cute. Here is the pink one. And again, kind of like those vibes there. The, is it, it's like a pink. It's a pink foil. Here is this one. Everything starts with a dream. I guess this is a dreamer one. Here are this vibe here, pure, I love it. Simple and significant, minimalism. These colors, guys, are everything to me. Here is the, I don't know if it's the calm one or something, um, chill and relax, calm vibes kind of thing. Here is that color. Here is this sheet, kind of like a gray and red color. And then here you have like a, it's like a black foil, which is very different. It almost looks silver here, but it's actually like a black foil, grayish silver type foil. Then you have this sheet here, gold foil there. Those quotes though, guys, I'm telling you, these are everything. And then in the back, you have titles and headers. And so these are matching the boxes here, basically. So this one says grateful and excited for, don't forget. Not all of them are foiled, just some of them. So grateful and excited for, which is this one. Top three movers today, that one. Today's game plan. See, it's not foiled there, but it's there. Don't forget to feel amazing, I will. So you have 
headers for here, basically, which is, again, fun because not everyone, you know, somebody wants color or whatnot. And it's a mix. It is a mix of them. So some are full, some are not. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. So it's only eight of them. And I know there's more. I believe there's 12 moods covers. And this is only eight of the theme there. And then you have some scripts, what it's calling fonts and phrases. So it's different fonts <laughs> and phrases, which I like. Workout, self-care, to-do, important, priority, work notes, meal prep, and goals. Same thing, just in different fonts. And foil at this point, too, which is very cute. I love it. Love it, love it. And that is the end of the Daily Grind system book, which, again, I say functional, meant specifically for, like, the Daily Planner. Can you use it other places? Of course you can, but ideally, it's meant kind of for that. So I love it. I'm here for it. I'm happy because I always had the little sheets laying around, and now I can just cut it out and put it in my planner. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So I'm here for it. Here is the doodle book. So just, I mean, it speaks for itself, right? Doodles. So still matching though, the same theme, same color theme, same moods collection. Okay. Just doodles focused on that. So again, this one's the rock star. So this is me. You have some Lightning bolts, prove them wrong, high heels, boxing gloves, you're fearless, set your soul on fire. If you're new here and don't know what I'm referring to, she, Daily Grind has 12 covers called their Moods Collection, and each one's a little different. Um, and one of them might resonate to you, and I'll leave the quiz down below in the description too. So if you don't have a planner yet and you want to see which one resonates, you can take the quiz and it'll give you some options on kind of what's your vibe. However, don't feel like you have to only buy that one. I mean, I bought other ones because some of them weren't my favorite colors or I like the other colors better. But yeah, so this is what I'm talking about when I say um, like the Rockstar or whatever collection. So there's basically planner covers to match these things. All right, so here again, kind of a red foil there. There's two sheets that match. So basically kind of two for each sticker book is kind of what it was too on this one. Um, so that's nice. And again, more deco. These are not paper, so this is transparent, so you can see through it, and it's still that kind of like, um, basically you can't write on it with a regular pen. If you were to write on this, you'd have to write with regular marker, but being that it's like a doodle, you probably wouldn't write on it at all anyways, um, but they're clear stickers, which is fun. So lots of doodles, right? Here is the other doodle page kind of coincide with this one. So you kind of kind of have both, right? How can you not? Um, this one, have fun, you know, ice cream, fireworks kind of thing. The joy is real, life of the party. So very fun. So that one's called Deco and Doodles, and this one's Sketches and Arrows. So all very fun, of course. And then you have the other one here, Ray of Sunshine, Shine Your Light. Kind of groovy vibes, if you ask me. <laughs> the way they're showing it here which again, still fun. Don't change, give up good vibrations. Happy camper, loving it. And then here is the other. This again, one of my favorite, the worldly wanderer, still super fun. I love it, love it, love it. Change the world, on the road, off to a new place. Still that kind of green foil there. And then you have this one here. Spiritual Siren, Just Breathe, kind of obviously under the sea inspired, <laughs> stay grounded. Here is the second page. And so again, whether you use this for whatever you choose, right? If I was going to the beach, obviously I'm going to use these vibes, right? Kind of going to the beach there. But I love the different deco. It's just so fun. Here is Make Your Own Magic here, Magical Motivator, Enjoy Every Moment, kind of a princess vibe, right? I'm loving that. So if you're matchy-matchy and like all of that, you can take advantage of that, right? <laughs> Very cute. Here is the other. And don't hate me. I don't know all the names. I just know they're the color and they're beautiful. <laughs> the color and they're beautiful. Um, and that's just because I focused on the quiz and what resonated with me and then what I liked. So these are fun too, kind of arts and crafty on that one. Paint, like paint um, strips. Yeah, little deco which is fun because sometimes things can get boring. And so having that is nice. This is a big dream room. So this one is meant to match this. 
Not that it matters, <laughs> but still fun nonetheless. This was my vibe. Fun hat. Look at that. Totally me. Just overall, I love the doodles and the deco, you know, um, to add a little something. And I'll post, I know a lot of people have been asking me to do plan with me's and I'm a mom and I work. And so it just gets hard sometimes. And obviously my priorities are elsewhere. So this one matches the um, Fresh Start Daily there. Pure, it's called Pure Princess officially. Um, kind of the calm, serene type vibes, right? Self-care, me time. Here are these match here. Mindset is everything. So this is probably one of my favorite pages here. I love it. And then you have the, um, again, calm, I believe. It's like a brown, brown type vibes. And I totally skipped these pages. Sorry. There it is. But still my vibes though, too. Um, I'm just a very colorful person though. I like the coffee, the latte. Again, this deco is everything though. It's going to really add to my planner and make my daily pages and make me want to open it even more you know seeing this and kind of even going into the week right look how far i've come one thing at a time i love it oh my gosh okay and then you have this one here cheek mama i have that cover cover too so again it's like a color for everyone i feel and here is a sticker book with their vibes there refusal to be normal here is their deco very cute, kind of hardcore. I love it. Yeah, rock star. I'm here for it. I am here for it. And then you got this one, Golden Goddess, which again, okay, so that one goes with the other one, the Cheap Mama, my bad. And then Golden Goddess. Stay extra sparkly. I love it. I love it because of the colors. This one didn't hit my vibe, but I'm here for these colors and all the deco too, though, right? So it's fun. I love it. I feel like if you're going to purchase these books, you need to get them together. Unless you're not a deco person, then obviously you teach their own. But you'll have both options to choose from on Wednesday, July 17th at 2 p.m. Central. The link is down in my description. It'll probably close for like a few hours before it actually releases, but then it'll open up. Um, again, use Desiree Plans for a discount and you'll get 10% off your entire order. So, so I am a DG creator, daily grind creator with them. And so these links are commissionable links and I do receive a small commission if you do shop with my links. It is at no cost to you, nor does it hinder your shopping experience. So if I've inspired you in any way, I'd encourage you to please, please, please click on that link below to shop with me. Um, it'll mean the world to me. Even if you don't hit click the link, um, you can still go ahead and use Desiree Plans at checkout. Okay, get that discount. So Definitely add this to your list of must-haves, okay? 24 rolls of washi, guys. 24 rolls. We have check boxes, timestamps, mood tracker, weather, water tracker, ruler. There's a ruler in here. Oh, there is a ruler in there. There it is. Okay, I'm here for it. And then these being your moods um, to kind of match the overall vibe of the sticker books too, to kind of coincide with the sticker the sticker collection there. So if washi is your vibe, this is what we're going to have. And there's quotes on all of these and we'll go over those too. Okay, so I've unraveled it. We're going to kind of do some swatches here. Here are kind of the functional washi they're referring to. So, And I'm not going to lay it down like a checklist. I am just going to lay it across to show you. But realistically, it'd be used up and down. Okay. Here is the other. This one's just a heart checklist. Again, meant to be vertical. Very cute, though. Here is the weather tracker. I would assume it'd be just as thick, given all the weather options. This planner are not totally up to you. I love being a great planner pattern, though. You got this big O checklist, which I don't know when I'm ever going to use this big O checklist. Here are the ones from the Moods collection. Now, guys, they weren't lying when they said 24 rolls. Like, there is a lot of washi to go around. So with this washi, again, it's going to match the Moods collection, and it'll have quotes. And so to me, it's kind of small, um, but you want it to work in your planner, right? And there's not a lot of spaces where you can usually typically add washi. So I'm glad that they made some, though, because it's still thin enough to add that deco. So 
So there you have it. Here are all the washi laid out, 24 washis in total. You have the moods collection, and then you have kind of the functional ones here. So to my knowledge, you can only buy them in sets. I know these came in separate um, bundles there, so I don't know if they will split it up to allow you to buy whichever one you choose, but you got them all here, and then you have more of the functional here. So let me know what you think. Is washi your thing? Are you excited about it? I'd love to hear your feedback on that. Overall, though, it's really cute. Um, when you look at it up close, it would look really nice on a spread. You know, it just kind of gives you that extra vibe to kind of keep going, which, again, I'm here for. Then there's your more functional there. Very cute. I think I probably would have still bought the whole collection because I have total FOMO and I need to have all of them. <laughs> so I'm here for it. But let me know what you think in the comments. I've showed you washi. I've showed you the sticker books, the monthly insert. Let me know what you'll be picking up um, and what you're excited to see moving forward. If you haven't already, though, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board as, again, my goal is to have a lot more Daily Grind Plant With Me's in here just because it is something I do use daily and I'm just, I forget to share. It's very simple. Life happens, right? So here is a close look at kind of my mock spread here. I decided not to use all the stickers since that's not how I plan. I just use one for my physical health and mental health breakdown. But the day headers, the deco, it is all perfect. I love the stickers that cover up, you know, the to don't forget and all that. I think it works out just great. Just that little added extra touch makes it go a long way. So let me know I what you think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And again, as always, I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.